Hi, welcome to clickmyproject.com. This video will lead us to efficient mining of frequent item sets on large uncertain databases under the domain data mining. In this process, we are going to see how frequent items are extracted from the large uncertain databases by using approximation algorithm and how the results are maintained by using the incremental mining algorithm. In sensor monitoring system and data integration system, the data manipulated is highly ambiguous. Mining frequent items set from generous uncertain database illustrated under possible world semantics is a crucial dispute. Approximated algorithm is established to extract the threshold based PFI from generous ambiguous database exceedingly. Incremental mining algorithm is used to retain the mining consequence. We criticize the support for incremental mining and ascertainment of manifold item sets. Tuple and attribute uncertainty is reinforced. The efficiency of our algorithm is validated by interpreting both real and synthetic data set. Now we are going to see the process flow. First, we give the transaction data set which is in XML format as an input. Then we load the XML data set into the database by passing the data set using DOM builder function. Then we are going to extract the distinct items from the data set. After extracting the distinct items, we calculate the support value for each item in the data set. Then we store the items based on the support value in descending order. After sorting the items we deduct the minimum support for mining pfi from the large ambiguous database then we extract the threshold based pfi from the database by using both dynamic programming algorithm and model based algorithm after extracting the threshold based pfi we add the new items to the existing data set then we are going to extract the pfi as same as before First, in a priori algorithm, first we process the data set from the scrap and deduct the PFI from new data set and load the new result into the DB. But in our proposed incremental mining algorithm, we extract the threshold based PFI for newly added items. If it is a frequent item, we update the result in existing result. Otherwise, we pre process the adding process after extracting the pfi we calculate the recall and precision value for both the algorithm in order to verify the proposed system then we calculate the time taken to extract pfi by both the methods finally we evaluate the performance of our algorithm both in time and the number of pfi extracted now we are going to see the demo of the whole process. To start the process, first run home.java. Then we have to select the transaction database for our process. Here I am choosing the XML file transaction.xml which is kept under the folder database to start the process. Then we are going to pass the XML file by using the DOM builder functions. After passing the file, we are going to load the data set into the database by clicking the load button. Then we are going to view the database which is loaded in the database. Then we are going to extract the distinct items in the database. After that, we are going to calculate the support value for each items in the database. After calculating the support, we are going to short the items based on the support value in descending order. Here we can see the difference. Then we are going to generate the candidate to item set based on dynamic programming algorithm. We are going to view the items extracted by using dynamic programming algorithm with support value. Then we are going to generate the candidate to item set based on the model based algorithm which is the proposed system of approximation algorithm. Then we are going to view the frequent items extracted by our system. Then we are going to generate the candidate 3 item sets based on DP.
After generating the candidate three item set, we are going to view the item set extracted based on the dynamic programming algorithm with their support values and the transaction ID in which these three items occurs. Then we are going to generate the candidate three item set based on our proposed model based algorithm. We have to wait until the progress bar stops. After generating the candidate three item set, we are going to view the results of our model based algorithm. Here we have set the minimum support as 3. So the item set which has the support greater than or equal to 3 is considered as a probabilistic frequent item sets. Then we are going to view the frequent item sets generated by both the algorithms. Then we are going to calculate the recall and pressure based on the minimum support. Here the minimum support is 3 and the recall value is 2.9 and the precision is 0 0.1. The recall and precision value is calculated based on the result obtained by both the algorithm. Then we are going to update the data set by inserting the new transactions into the database. Here we find the new items which is added in the newly added transactions. Then we are going to delete the item from the database. For example, here I am deleting the item soap. By clicking the delete button, we are going to delete the items from the data set and the uh, relevant items in the other transactions. Then we are going to can take two item set based on the row mining algorithm for new transaction database. Here we are going to view the result of the frequent item set. Then we are going to generate the candidate 3 item set based on rule mining algorithm. Once it is generated, we are going to view the result. Finally, the result of the frequent item set will be displayed in this table. Then we are going to see the evaluation of our proposed algorithm based on the runtime and number of PFI extracted. In runtime graph, our model based algorithm has lesser time to generate the probabilistic frequent item set. Then the PFA graph shows that our model based algorithm extract the number of PFA is most lesser than the dynamic programming algorithm. Thanks for watching us.